Welcome back to my faithful subscribers. Both, both of you. Th thank you. Thank you. You're awesome. Hey guys, it's Jeff, the insurance guy. Today I want to talk about health share uh, organizations. These are organizations, MediShare, medical expense sharing. Um, these are organizations that take up a monthly premium, they pool the money, and then they pay you back for your medical expenses. These have become very, very popular. I want you guys to make sure that you understand these are not insurance plans. They, they, if you read the fine, sometimes in the fine print, sometimes it's printed directly on the card. Um, right here, it's, it's gonna, you're gonna see a, a, a example of a card where it says on it, it is not insurance. Um, the next slide I'm gonna show you is from the bottom of one of these plans, uh, the fine print of one of these plans, insurance um, uh, statement of, of non-insurance. So these are not health insurance, period, done. I'm not against them. I'm not advocating for or against or whatever, but I am going to tell you that what my perspective and maybe ask some questions from you guys that do belong to these and tell me, um, you know, what, what you guys are, are, are uh, experiencing. I'm going to pick specifically on Christian Health Ministries. Um, I'm, I'm doing that because I have a lot of people that I've talked to, friends of mine, that belong to it. And, and so I'm a little bit more familiar with the back end processes. Um, if I get something wrong, correct me, please correct me, stick it in comments, um, talk about it because I really honestly want to know. But the one thing I am going to say in everything I've seen and everything I've heard, Christian Health Ministries does nothing to spread the word of Christ. And, and by virtue of the name of Christian Health Ministries, if they're not spreading the word of Christ, that's just a catchy, ca uh, catchy tagline and, and a great marketing idea to get your attention. So uh, nothing against religion, love religion. My, my relationship with Christ is, is what I feel like something very near and dear to me. But I also really kind of pisses me off when people use that um, to, to, to market and, and not do anything um, to, to put power behind the words. And if they do, please, again, drop in the comments and tell me I'm wrong because I want to know. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare the Christian Health Ministries with a United Healthcare run-of-the-mill copay plan and a run-of-the-mill non-copay plan. Now, I do want to remind you guys, for the two or three of you that watched that video, um, there is a video out there that I put out that, that explained the differences in, in, in um, maybe some of the plans that are out there what the, what, and, and what a copay was, was versus something else. So we'll talk a little bit in, 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 in non-detail here, but go back and watch that other video. Um, maybe I'll pick up one or two more <laughs> viewers. Um, and then what I want to do is I want to go through scenarios. And, and the scenario would be routine care. Um, just, you know, every run of the mill day, I've got a cold, a sinus infection right now. And so if I sound stuffy, I apologize. Um, something that would happen that would be more catastrophic, maybe a accident or a critical illness or something. And then the maximum benefits, where, that, where they're, where they're going to stop paying. Um, and then I also want to talk about what it would cost on a, on a monthly basis. So uh, let's dive in. So anyway, so as far as routine care goes, basically at the end of the day, Christian Health Ministries is going to reimburse you for your costs. So you're going to go to the doctor's office and you're going to say, okay, I'm here to get, you know, a checkup or whatever. I want, to, want somebody to look at my sinus infection. You're going to pay that doctor's visit. Now, you may be able to negotiate a private pay rate and get a little break, which is great. Um, but that's up to you and that's up to the provider. No one has predetermined that discount and you are still at their mercy. Um, and when we get down here in the major services, that's really going to come into play. So you pay out of pocket. Understand that as, as a healthcare provider, we, because I came from the healthcare provider side, ch charge about 300% of what we really want. And what that does is that maximizes our reimbursement from our managed care contracts and our Medicare rates. And so at the end of the day, we can't charge you any less unless we do a negotiation. But on the, on the other hand, if you guys don't negotiate that rate, they will charge you 300%. Um, if you've got a small business or you're working hourly um, and you're making $20 an hour, would you want $20 an hour or would you want three times that? And you had the choice to get it, which, which would you take? Come on, guys. These are businesses. Yeah, it's healthcare, but they still got to keep the lights on. 
the electric company doesn't come back and go, oh, you're a healthcare provider. We'll, we'll give you a 30% discount. No, they don't. So routine care, you're going to be reimbursed. The other thing here, and one of the, I talked to one gentleman, and he was having so much of a hard time getting reimbursed because he wasn't following all those steps and jumping through all the hoops that they want. Guys, that's by design. Um, I did talk to somebody, actually, it was yesterday, a whole load, load of grain to the city with a good friend of mine um, that, uh, that is in, in this program. And his wife has figured it out tooth and nail, and she can get money out of these people where nobody else can, which is awesome. But my other buddy that's a, a livestock auctioneer, he didn't have the time to sit and, 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 and patience to sit and figure it out, and he got frustrated, and he never got his money back. But at the end of the day, you do all of the work. You do the contracting for say with negotiating your private pay rate. You pay the bill. You file the claim back to, to, to the med chair and you fight them if they don't pay you. So um, a lot of work goes into this. Routine care with the United Healthcare copay plan. Um, I'm just picking a run of the mill one. There, there could be some differences out there. The one I picked is going to be, uh, you know, we have this premium involved. So, so of course, you know, I picked a, a plan that has maybe a little higher copay, um, and, and and we can get a lower copay, but we're going to get a higher premium. So it makes sense. But in this this scenario, you can go to the doctor for forty five dollars. You could go see a specialist for seventy five dollars. Um, you can see an urgent care person for, or, or go to urgent care and see, see that person for $75. But the cool thing here is it's the United Healthcare rate. So if you paid $300 over here at this doctor's visit, United Healthcare may have negotiated that down to $80. And then in, in your portion, that's only going to be $45. And, and you pay that, and it's non reimbursable, that's going to come out of your pocket. But you pay it in United Healthcare, the provider bills United, and they talk back and forth, and there is never any responsibility for you to do anything more than pay that company. So if going to the doctor is important for you, this is a pretty big deal, seeing your doctor in person. From an 80-20 standpoint, this is no copay, which this means your um, your out, uh, office visit's gonna come out of, out of the pocket and come off of your deductible. Still gonna be the United Healthcare rate. So instead of paying the 300, if we if they um, negotiate it down to 100, um, then you're going to pay 100 dollars until your deductible's gone. So yes, it's going to come out of pocket. Yes, it's going to be something that that, that you're going to pay out of your out of your out of your pocket. But honestly, if if you only went to the doctor once or twice a year, it's a whole lot better than than maybe paying for a, a copay plan that's got a little bit more guts to it. Um, I will also say in any of these plans and even even this, we can we can sell you guys a, a, a telehealth, unlimited telehealth for 20 bucks a month. I have it, I'd show it to you, but uh, I'm using my phone to uh, uh, record this, but it's an app, I get on that app, I can text my uh, doctor's nurse back and forth um, with this sinus infection. I'm gonna tell her I've got a sinus infection to see if she can't get me something since it's hung on for a little while. If the doctor wants to see me, then he'll ask for a time um, and I'll set an appointment through the app. The app pops up uh, when it's time and I talk to him through my, through my phone and he will call in a prescription to my pharmacy of choice, which is Walmart. And um, at the end of the day, that cost me $20 and I don't have to leave that chair right there. So. Pretty slick stuff can be added to any of this um, to, to make that more routine uh, care a little readily available. So routine wise, just to kind of recap, you're paying full price out of pocket and working with Christian Health Ministries to get paid back. Um, in a copay plan, you're gonna pay at the, at the doctor's office, you're gonna write a check, um, run your card, whatever, for, for 45 bucks and then nothing else is gonna happen. The, the rest of us between the provider, the medical provider and United Healthcare. And on the other plan, um, you, you're gonna pay out of pocket. So in the scenario we were talking, um, it's probably gonna be about a hundred bucks, but at the end of the day, that comes off of your deductible. Um, if you don't know the difference between copay and deductible, um, I think I might have like a dozen viewers on that video, so you guys might have seen it. But if you haven't, go back and look at it too because that's a great, some great information on what the difference between the deductible and co-insurance is. So um, that's all good and fine, but let's talk about major services.
major services. Um, car accident, uh, car accident might be a little bad example because you, you've got some auto insurance in there that, that would be liable first, but let's say you fell off a ladder taking off your Christmas lights because ours are still on, I don't know about yours. And uh, this weekend's supposed to be nice, guarantee you we'll take them off. Uh, somebody falls off a ladder, knock on wood, God forbid. Uh, don't tell my wife if she does fall off a ladder that I jinxed her, so just between me and you. Um, so something happens, major services, we're under Christian Health Ministries. Um, take that person to the emergency room. Do you think, now see the difference in, in the routine care is I could go to Dr. Smith and say, hey, Dr. Smith, I'm, I'm, I've got Christian Health Ministries. Can you give me a private pay discount? No, no, sorry, I don't do that. Okay, fine, well, I'm gonna go to Dr. Jones. Dr. Jones, I went to Dr. Smith, he didn't give me a, and you can shop, and you can find that prior to the service. If you're laying in, a, in an ambulance with a broken leg, you're not gonna stop at the door and go, hey guys, I'm private pay, let's stop and let's talk about this because I don't wanna have to pay full price. Can you, can you give me a pri private pay discount? That's not gonna happen. So, so you're gonna be on the hook for a $1,000 ER visit, you're gonna be on the hook for $3,000. So the other side of that is, and when we get to talking about back benefits, that's where that's really gonna come into play because you might be thinking, ah, you know, I, I, I got $3,000 just laying around and I'll write them a check and I'll get my check back from Christian Health Ministries. Here's the other thing. The higher the bill that you're submitting, the harder it's going to be to get reimbursed because they're going to make it harder, guys. Um, there's nothing about this that's going to be easy about getting money unless you figured it out. And, and some of you may, if you've got tips and tricks, stick them in comments. Let these people know. Share the wealth, please. In a copay scenario, it's going to be this copay scenario. It's going to be thirty percent after the deductible. So, if it's a, um, if you've not met your deductible and maybe you've got a twenty five hundred dollar deductible, it was a three thousand dollar visit. Um, you know, healthcare has negotiated that down to a thousand. If you haven't made your deductible, then yes, you're going to pay a thousand dollars, but that's going to come off of your deductible. And that's just your ER visit. Let's not even get into if a rod needs to be put in or screws or anything. Because really, honestly, do you ever hear anybody breaking an arm or leg that doesn't get a rod or a surgery anymore? Think about that. Um, it's all about the money. Um, but anyway, at the, at the end of the day, um, let's say it was a sprain and they wrapped it and told you to stay off of it. And that was the end of that, that, that episode. Um, at the end of the day, you're going to pay $1,000 in this scenario. If you haven't met, if you have met your deductible, you're going to pay 30% or you're going to pay $300. So um, not a bad gig because again, yes, some of that's going to come out of your pocket, but the rest of the work's all going to be done between the healthcare provider and you know, healthcare. This scenario on the other hand is a 20% deductible. So if you hadn't met the deductible, yes, you're going to pay the $1,000. If you're, if you have met your deductible, it's going to cost you 200 bucks. And again, that's done. You pay the 200 and, and the rest is between the healthcare provider and United Healthcare. So what's all that matter? Um, and, and honestly, I'm gonna say something about major services. You know, we're using uh, falling off the ladder, taking off Christmas lights. Um, and, and I'm kind of a superstitious person as cowboys are. Um, I don't really talk a lot about critical illness, but what I do wanna say is what do you think a, a, a diagnosis for cancer is today? Um, I did a little bit of research yesterday, um, gross charges, uh, the average, the average cancer diagnosis can be anywhere between 25, 30 and 25, 30, 25, sorry, thousand and thirty thousand dollars. And, and, and that's from the small melanoma that's been taken off your back and, and you don't require anything to maybe, you know, pancreatic cancer that's going to require, um, years of, of, of therapy and, and um, chemotherapy and, and whatnot. So at the end of the day, you know, that guy that's got that more catastrophic, we're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. So uh, unfortunately, when we talk about, about the major, um, there is things out there, catastrophic events that, that can, can lead, lead us to some really big dollar charges. Um, for the most part, we're going to talk about accidents because guys, that's what happens 90% of the time. So, end of the day, maximum benefit. So what's all this means? Well, if you're charged 
and, and let's just for the sake of math, um, say it's 50%. So United Healthcare, you got a 50% discount. If that's the case with Christian Health Ministries, unless you figured out how to really work the system yourself and get bells and whistles put in here for, for private pay type discounts, you've taken and you've cut your maximum benefit in half. And the maximum benefit, the one gentleman I talked to, the maximum benefit on his, his Christian Health Ministries um, policy was $250,000. So again, most of the time we, we inflate on the hospital side, we inflate 300%. And, and, and so we negotiate, we're willing to negotiate down you know, quite a bit on our United Healthcare or our Aetna's and Humana's. Um, with that being an out of pocket dollar amount, guys, that's you're really getting between a half and a third of the benefit uh, that you would get over here because they've negotiated the, the gross charges down. If you don't understand that, throw it in comments and I'll, I'll be glad to put it in writing. If you understand it to be differently, throw it in comments. Let's, let's talk about it. Um, so over here, if, if you do get that unfortunate of, of cancer diagnosis or, or heart failure or something that we know can happen, and, and I'm going to tell you right now, um, my dad um, was, is a vic cancer victim, my mom was a cancer victim, and I'm a cancer survivor. So um, don't, don't tell me it won't happen because it, it's, it's had a catastrophic effect on, on my family. Um, so that happens you're gonna be left out in the cold here. What are you gonna do when those charges exceed, exceed your maximum benefit? Over here, your maximum benefit's $2 million of negotiated charges. So uh, I, I don't think I need to go into great detail that um, $2 million maximum of 50% of charges is a hell of a lot better than 250,000 of gross charges. So. You guys do the math. Premiums. Um, Christian Health Ministries, you're going to pay $203 a month. Copay plan. For this one, this is United Healthcare. These are all 40 year olds in the Kansas City market. Um, United Healthcare, it's going to be $261 for, for a copay plan. Again, I chose one with a 30% deductible, and I think the out of pocket max here, if you don't understand, what the out-of-pocket max is go go look at that video because it's out there as well um, but that out-of-pocket max here on this plan I think was ten thousand dollars and I think the out-of-pocket max over here was like five so that's the difference in the 261 and the 271 the ten dollars a month is this um, this pays a little bit more up front but pays less on the back end and this pays less up front and more on the back end um, that's ten dollars a month so it's really a matter of choice. My personal favorite in the, is to go with this, tack the telehealth on, don't get out of your easy chair and see your doctor. And if it's something that you've got to have hands on, something going on, then yes, you can go. But how many times do you go to the doctor that, that needs to be hands on and can't be done through telehealth? I, I think COVID taught us a lot of things and COVID taught us that medicine can, can be done um, virtually just as easy as it can be done in person. Yes, it's not always the case, but you, you can get 90% of it out of the way through telehealth. So the other thing, one more thing I want to add, if you haven't seen, if you're not one of the three people that seen my um, accidental um, policy video, go back and look at it as well. Um, talk about, give some case examples, especially through accident, the, the accidental. I haven't done one on critical illness yet, but there is also critical illness riders. If you choose to go with e any of these, I always, always, always suggest doing an accidental rider. Um, the accidental riders are just, they ride on top of the policy. Again, go back and watch the video. I've got about a 10 minute little clip on it. But um, if you get hurt, no matter what your bill is, no matter what your insurance coverage does, it's gonna pay you out of pocket. Um, you can get as little as, $5,000 in coverage, you can get as much as, as whatever, $25,000, $30,000. Um, no, it's not even going to come close to, to helping with these maximum benefits, um, but it is it, it does help um, a lot, especially with the minor accidents. Um, had a situation, had a, a 
dear friend of mine, dear friend and customer of my family, uh, family of three, and um, we were talking about the accident policies and we went back and forth and we finished up on, on her uh, um, uh, Aetna policy that I'd sold them. And, um, yeah, well, we need to get around to that, that, that accidental policy. Yeah, you know, just give me a call. And guys, I'm going to tell you, I'm probably as low pressure of a salesman you ever met in your life. And so I'm not pestering this person. They're going to come around when they want to come around. And I'm not going to push them because, by God, they know what, what they've got in the bank. And they know how they want to spend it. Well, who am I to tell them any different? Kind of a shame on me because I let it go. And lo and behold, their son broke his arm. And what would have been a twenty, probably up to a twenty thousand dollar check in their hands, instead it's a super high bill in their hands for an out of pocket expense. So, so anyway, long story short, if you uh, if you come in in here, definitely in any of these critical uh, critical illness accidental policies are the way to go, the way to add into this. Um, the Christian Health Ministries, the Medishares, the Liberties. Um, maybe products that you'd like that you that you're gonna keep I, I I'm, I'm fine with that I'm not not telling you to do anything different but what I am saying is just be aware of what's going on be aware of what your maximum benefit is be aware of what duties you're going to have to do to, to get reimbursed and and honestly guys when you look across the board you're not saving that much money you're, you're not saving hardly anything compared to what you're get, getting in benefits um, Again, um, guys, drop comments, subscribe, um, kind of poking fun at myself because, you know, it's slow going, but you guys know how, how this stuff goes. It's, 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 it's not, uh, not easy to, to get a following, but all I'm trying to do with you guys is to make you aware. I've been doing this for 23 years from a provider side billing. I was the guy who was working on getting all this stuff paid. Um, now my job is, is to put you into a benefit plan that, that makes your life easier um, and, and then and, and service after the sale. So if you're having problems, I could come in and, and help you with claims or whatnot. Um, the coolest part of my situation, you don't pay me anything. Um, the insurance company pays me if you sign up for one of these plans. It's just the way it works. I mean, everyone makes a living. That's how I make mine, but it doesn't come out of your pocket. pocket. You don't pay more because you bought it from me then you bought it from someone else or went straight to United. The problem is you may go straight to United and you may put yourself into a plan that you weren't aware didn't wasn't going to fit your needs. And I can help you tailor make something to fit your needs. And, and again, my services cost nothing. So um, if you would do me a favor, leave comments. Some of this is a little controversial uh, because the people that, that belong to these MediShare plans, they believe in them. And why do they believe in them? Because they've been told to believe in them. Because, and I don't want to use the word brainwash, but I do want to say there's a little bit of a cult-like following here. So um, if, if you disagree with that, definitely put it in, 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 uh, in the uh, comments. If you guys want to talk, this is my cell phone. You can call me, you can text me, um, you can find me on Facebook. I've got a web page out there. All that's going to be down in the, in the, in the descriptions and stuff below. Um, get a hold of me. I'll, I'm here to help you. Thanks for everything and go Chiefs.